Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we've got some more FIFA 23 news. We've got our look at the first 33 player ratings and all their in-game stats for FIFA 23 right now. Quick before we do get into the video, if you are new around, be sure to subscribe to the channel and notifications to not miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy, smash the thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on these ratings in the comments below. But let's jump straight into it right now. Okay guys, so we have got the first 23 on the EA website. We're going to start off with Mark Ronos. We can see all their in-game stats as well. So Mark Ronos is an 88 rated card, 79 pace, 56 shooting, 75 passing, 74 dribbling 89 defending and 80 physical with a three star three star quite a nice card you know he's got that high defense he's got a high medium for uh the high defensive medium attacking work rate which is quite nice i'm not going to read out every player's cards you can just pause it if you want to see a certain player we'll briefly talk about each player but if you do want to pause and see their in-game stats you can go ahead and do that here we've got tony crows again one of his only stats letting him down is going to be his pace it always is his pace he's got that five star weak foot medium medium work rates also, 88 rated, we have got Erling Haaland, who looks like he's got a really nice card. I don't know if this is much different to his card last year. I didn't really pay too much attention to the base cards last year. Uh, we've got Haaland, 89 pace, 91 shooting, 87 physical, 3-star, three 3-star, three high medium work rate. It should be an absolute monster of a card. Next up, we've got our first goalkeeper here coming in. 89 is going to be Oblak. Again, a very standard card for Oblak, very similar to the last previous years that we have had Oblak. We've then got Angolo Kante coming at 89 rate with a two star, three star, or two star skills, three star weak foot, medium high for the defensive work rate. All around a very good card. I'm assuming he's going to be a very good card in the game, as he always is. Kante is always one of them players that you can really rely on within the game. Next up, we've got our second goalkeeper, which is going to be Edison for Man City. We're not going to go into goalkeepers too much because their stats are pretty similar every single year. And um, then we've got Harry Kane with a 91 shooting. Other than his 91 shooting, he hasn't got the best card, I'll be honest. He's got three star, five star, uh, high, high work rates. He has only got 68 pace and he got 82 physical and he got 83 passing. Probably not going to be that usable depending on how the game plays. Obviously, we don't know how the game plays. We might This might be a really good card in the game. But looking off his stats, he's probably not going to be the best card to use up front. We then got Allison as a goalkeeper coming in there. As you can see, there are his stats right there. We've got Casemiro, who's obviously got the Real Madrid badge there, but the Man United badge on his card. Obviously, he's going to be pro quite a good defender for you guys that are making Premier League teams. He's got 87 physical, 90 defending, decent pace for a centre defensive midfield. You're not expecting to be blistering in pace. 73 shooting and 75 passing. Quite a nice rounded card there for Casemiro. Hero. Next up is going to be Kimmich, guys. We've got 68 pace there, 84 dribbling, 83 defending, 79 physical. A lot of these cards seem to have really high ratings, but not that good at base cards, like base stats, which is kind of crazy to me. I don't know how they're sort of wangling these really high cards here. But there we go. Kimmich is 89 rated with 3-star, 4-star high medium work rates. Next up, we've got Sadio Mane, 90 pace, 88 dribbling, 83 shooting, and 80 passing with a 4-star, four 4-star four high medium work rates. Going from Mane, we're going to jump into Hyung Min Sun, 88 pace, 89 shooting, 86 dribbling, 82 passing with the 4-star, five 5-star, five and high medium work rates. One of the first cards we've seen that looks very appealing to get in game and looks like he's got really, really good base stats. Next up is going to be a Neymar Jr. Uh, with 87 pace, 93 dribbling, 83 shooting 85 passing he's five star five star high medium work rates a good card there for neymar next up manuel neuer you can pause it on neuer i'm not going to join his goalkeepers too much again same with courtois if you do want to check out courtois now we have got Cristiano Ronaldo as a 90 rated card. He's only got 81 pace, 85 dribbling, still got 92 shooting, 78 passing and 75 physical. The downfall for Messi and Ronaldo in these games is very much starting to happen. There are cards way hot. There are a few cards now that are above Na uh, Ronaldo and Messi, sorry, um, which is just starting to show the direction he was going to go in next year. We're probably going to see him even lower rated. But he's got five star, four star with high, low work rates. Next up is going to be Virgil van Dijk, 81 pace, 91 defending, 86 physical, 72 dribbling even 71 passing with a two star three star medium high work rate good card there looking for a uh, good looking card there for virgil van dyke next up is mo salah 90 pace 90 dribbling 89 shooting 82 passing looks like a great card he's four star three star with a high medium work rate looks like a good card there for salah and like I was saying, we've got Lionel Messi, 81 pace, 94 dribbling, 89 shooting, and 90 passing. So Messi still looks like he's got a very usable card. When you compare it to Ronaldo, all Ronaldo really seems to have going for him right now is that shooting. Um, and the fact, obviously, he's got five-star skills and a good bit of dribbling. But if you look at Messi's card to compare with Ronaldo's, he's got one, two, three stats that are up in the 90s. Ronaldo's only got one 90 stat, and then the next is that to 85. So Messi looks like he's got a good card this year. He looks like he'll be a very usable player as well. I mean, sure, Ronaldo will be, but you know what I'm saying. But then we've got Kevin De Bruyne sitting up here with 87 and dribbling 88 passing 93 pace and 77 physical um with that four star five star weak foot with a high high work rate De Bruyne, so he's gonna be an absolute menace this year and then we've got Killian Mbappé with a 97 pace 92 dribbling 89 shooting five star four star with the attack it with a high low work rates there 
Mbappe's going to be a monster. He always is. He's always one of them cards that is just really annoying to play against. But Mbappe looks like he's going to be an absolute menace this year. Then we've got Robert Lewandowski uh, with a 75 pace, 86 dribbling, 91 shooting, 79 passing, 83 physical, 4 star, 4 star, high and medium work rates. And to top the list off, guys, we have got Kareem the Dream Benzema with 80 pace, 87 dribbling, 88 shooting, 83 passing, and 78 physical, 4 star, 4 star, medium, medium. Hasn't got the best base stats. How he's the highest rated in the game, according to EA Sports. I actually don't know. Yet. Like, Mbappe's got a much better card. Lewandowski's even got a better card. But Benzema has taken the number one spot for the highest rated player in uh, FIFA 23. So, there are all the FIFA 23 stats, guys. And then a few more ratings I want to take a look at are the fact we've got from Vinicius Junior all the way down to Pulisic. We've got Vinicius at an 86, 95 pace, 90 dribbling. Looks like a really good card. We've got Pedri at 85, Davies at 84, Hal Felix at 84, Valverde at 84, Havertz at 84, Grealish at 84, Vlahovic at 84. I probably butchered that name. I apologize. Bellingham at 84 and Pulisic down there at an 82 rated card. These are the ambassadors for FIFA 23. So that's why they're all there and we've got some of the lower rated cards. But Vinny looks like he's got a good card. How Felix looks like he's got a good card. But yeah, guys, they are all the ratings for FIFA 23 that we have announced right now. Make sure you are subscribed and notifications turn on so you stay updated when more ratings drop and more FIFA 23 news does drop as well. If you did enjoy it, smash thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on these ratings in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace. Bellingham also looks like he's got a really nice, well-rounded card for the start of the game for you guys to get in your Bundesliga team or your English team nice and early. Uh, Pulisic doesn't look like he's got the worst card for a starter team.